was there an overtake of opportunity after, or do you think the red flag ruined your race? It's, it's a tough one. Like you, around here, you have to push so much. What I realised actually with the Lotus, the uh, the toe is quite strong on the car, so I was able to catch up towards the end of the straight, but not quite enough to to attack. But the thing is, you only need one little mistake from uh, the car in front, and your opportunity is there. So. Uh, yeah, it's a shame. No one wants to finish the race under a red flag. You want to fight all the way to the end, just because you never know. It's, it's, racing is about never giving up, and when it gets cut short, it's it's a bit of a shame. And how would you summarize your experience here at Macau for the weekend? It's it's been wild, honestly. Like uh, it's one of the scariest but most enjoyable and satisfying tracks I've ever raced at. So um, yeah, like back at home, generally I race around the Nurburgring, uh, like the Green Hell, and so uh, this. Is it's a different uh, challenge with the walls being so close. Yesterday I, I knocked my wind mirror in during qualifying, and I guess it's that that uh, helped me get pole position. Um, and then obviously in the race, uh, obviously you've got to worry about all the other cars. And, uh, no, it's been it's been really enjoyable, and I hope I get the opportunity to come back again. Actually, in a question unrelated to the to, to the actual race, but just out of my curiosity, I noticed a little bit of a sort of porpoising issue around the main streets in the first two turns. <laughs> is that an issue for yourself? Um, you, you feel the, the bouncing in the car, and so I think this is more to do with maybe the shorter wheelbase, so maybe it hits the bumps a little bit differently, but also it's a brand new car to us, uh, it's its first ever race, so I guess there's going to be a little bit of developing in the suspension and the damping and, and maybe, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe eventually they can fix this, but maybe it's also to do with the, the mid-engine that it just, it's a bit lighter or softer on the front, I'm not too sure, I guess the more the team gets to know the car, the, the better and closer they'll get. Oh yeah, you, really, you feel it in the car. It's, it's just over the, the jumps. It's not from aero, it's just from, I guess, the ripples in the track that you feel it. And I think it's to do with the shorter wheelbase. Thank you very much.